not really something to worry yourself with. It's that cone that you need to worry with, and that means everybody in the Florida Peninsula, everybody from coast to coast, from Naples to Fort Lauderdale, from, from, from Charlotte County all the way over to, to all of the beaches on the East Coast. Rick, that slight change in what they think is going to happen is interesting. Uh, it is interesting. Well, here's the deal. We've been saying for a couple of days that we don't know where that right-hand turn is going to take place, which means anybody across the Florida Peninsula needs to watch this. Now, last couple of model runs have been kind of consistent on the eastern side of Florida. You get a little bit of confidence. And then here's what changed. The European model, this is probably the best model that we have when we forecast these things. So there's a lot of deference paid to this. So take a look at what happens with this latest model run on this. Goes a little bit to the south, maybe a little bit of interaction here with Cuba and makes that right hand turn a little bit later, which puts the center of this right here Sunday morning, 5 a.m., making landfall somewhere around the Keys instead of somewhere over here around Miami. Because of the respect for this model, the National Hurricane Center shifted everything a little bit off towards the west. You'll also notice the center of it this time staying riding right along the center here of Florida. That would be bad news for Florida, but really good news for Georgia and South Carolina. It would mean there wouldn't be a secondary landfall here of this, but we would have this very strong storm moving across the entire peninsula. Now, because we like that model so much, they've adjusted that, uh, the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. That said, this is one model run from the European model, and uh, we still will not say exactly where uh, this is going to happen. But last time we were saying, talking about something kind of moving right along here around Miami. Now we're talking about this moving in, cutting in across the Keys. This is very bad news for the Miami area, maybe a little bit better news up towards West Palm. Uh, but we're going to see some deviations on this over the next day or so. In fact, probably, unfortunately, all the way until Saturday. So everybody just has to keep watching. In the short term, Shep, Turks and Caicos about to get pummeled. What we just saw happen in, in Barbuda yesterday and the Lesser Antilles in the British Virgin Islands, that is about to happen to the Turks and Caicos with that exact same kind of force of this storm. Uh, then it moves in towards the southern Bahamas before it makes that turn. I will also tell you the water really warm. We've had this Category 5 now for the better part of two days, and it's been moving over warm water. But take a look at this. The darker colors you see here, that is even warmer temperatures. So there isn't any reason fuel-wise that we're going to see this storm weaken at all. Finally, Shep, one last thing I want to tell you. Yesterday, Irma went over the Leeward Islands here, Cat 5 hurricane. Take a look at Hurricane Jose now as of the last advisory. It's a major hurricane. That little white line there is what happened with Irma. Take a look at the cone here now for Jose. By Saturday, we might be talking about a second major hurricane landfall on these same islands here uh, in about a four to five day period, which is unfathomable when you see the dim damage and pictures that have come out of there that they could be dealing with that again. Yeah, a hurricane category three behind a category five. Incredible. Yeah. Rick, we'll be right back to you. Something to think about now. Uh, if you've got friends who are on the west coast of Florida, remember this was one scenario. It's going to be bad over here, but not, not horrible. If they're right now, and we come up like this, that means Marco Island, Naples, Fort Myers, Estero, Cape Coral, up into Charlotte County, all of you could face hurricane force winds, everyone. So listen, in, in Collier County, in Lee County, in, in Charlotte County, all along the West Coast, and up into the Tampa Bay area, Sarasota, and, 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 and Tampa proper, in Venice, and Port Charlotte, you have to listen to your local managers, your, your local warnings about this. This shift is going to mean changes for what happens in Bonita Springs and Naples and Estero because this means more water, more winds, more storm. The worst part of a storm, the circular eye, counterclockwise, a low pressure center, the worst is always that upper right quadrant, right? But in this case, look at this storm. There's water all the way around it. There's no, the, the winds are the worst right here. The winds are the worst right here. But hurricane force winds extend out for 50 miles in all directions. And Rick, if it does what that European model says, that means they could get hurricane force winds all over the peninsula, at least yeah, at the lower and, half. And actually, Shep, uh, so the storm has grown in its size since yesterday. It's actually now the hurricane force winds extend out 70 miles from the center. So yeah, if Florida is anywhere from 90 to 100 miles or so across, and you have if it cuts up the center of that, you have 70, mile, uh, 70 miles out from the center on either side of it, a little bit more on the right-hand side of it, uh, then you could be talking about the entire peninsula, especially the southern half as it's moving on shore, getting hurricane force winds. Keep in mind also, uh, where if it makes landfall, say a 150 mile an hour wind storm, 
it takes a while for that to wind down. So if it hit as a category one, maybe six, seven hours later, it's a tropical storm. If it hits as a cat four, cat five, then it's going to take probably a good 12 to 18 hours for those winds to get down below hurricane force. So we could be watching a lot of the Florida Peninsula uh, getting those kinds of winds. Yeah. Keep in mind, this is the forecast as of now. It has been going back and forth 20, 30 miles in either direction, and I think we'll see that happen again uh, a few times over the next day. Rick Reichmuth in the, hurricane, in, the, in the Extreme Weather Center. Thank you. We'll keep in touch with the Hurricane Center. We'll keep you updated. Bottom line, what you need to know now, if you're in an evacuation area, evacuate. If you're in an area anywhere on the peninsula of Florida, be ready.